This is a, a viewer request video. Uh, the viewer request by several people was, what are the uh, top expensive lenses uh, from Nikon that are like a laughable joke? It's like, I don't care how much money you got, this lens is a stinking joke. Okay, um, there has to be one that's added and it's not out yet. I've s I've uh, already have my... Uh, lay away on the lens. I'm not going to buy it uh, to borrow it, but I've seen a lot of images from it, so I have to add one to the list. And that is the 105 millimeter uh, uh, f1.4, 105 f1.4. The images from it are horrible. I knew it would be. It has too much glass in it. It's over-designed. It's over-corrected. They bleached it. It's, uh, no. No, no, no. So that is got to be lens number seven. So I got a list of seven lenses here. Uh, no particular order. The 17 to 35 f 2.8, so full frame lens, it's 2,000 bucks, brand new. It has two plastic aspherical elements in it. Yeah, now that lens is no bueno. It's been around for a long time. Nikon has uh, no real replacement for it, so that's the only reason I could think of that they're still making it. That lens sucks. Anybody with half a brain, not just my opinion, does not like that lens. And homie would never pay $2,000 for a lens. I wouldn't even pay $600 for that lens if I found a great used one with plastic elements in it. You see, aspherical elements are expensive to make. And, oh gosh, and by golly, if you could just injection mold uh, that out of like uh, some uh, high industrial... Poly you see, my lenses are made out of polycarbonate, right? I made glasses for years, you know. It, it does last. The problem is it shrinks and it warps and it does all sorts of freaky crap. So you want to talk about a lens you ain't never supposed to leave in a hot car, it definitely be a lens that's got polycarbonate lenses. Because this stuff changes. I mean, it warps and twists and changes. You know, it's not glass. $2,000 for a lens that has glass elements in it. Yeah, and it's not that good. And it's not that fast. And No, 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 no. Uh, lens number two, no particular order. And this lens is not that expensive, it's only a thousand bucks. Um, that is the 24 to 120 f4, the latest iteration. Sucks at both ends. Um, it is a sexy looking, a lot of people look at lens and like, that looks sexy, man. That front element is huge, and you know, it's a new lens from night. That lens sucks. Most people that know a lot about lenses, they all agree with me the lens sucks. It's no damn good. It, it's no good. No. That was the uh, kit lens uh, for the uh, Nikon D750, by the way. Um, a relatively new lens, the 24mm f1.4, $2,000. Absolutely atrocious. Overprocessed images, nasty, horrific. You're going to spend $2,000 on that? Here's something. Okay. Nikon just came out with this lens like last year. It's been within a year. I have the lens. And it's awesome. Get the 24mm f1.8 for less than half the price. This is not about price. If both lenses were the exact same price, I still would not pick the 24mm f1.4 if they were the same price. But no, 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 no. That 24mm f1.4 is $1,200 more expensive for a 1.4 versus the 24mm f1.8. 24mm f1.8 is not only 800 or so bucks, it is superior. It is lighter weight, obviously. It is better every which way, up and down, left and right, front to back, than the 24mm 1.4. For $1,200 less, so that lens sucks. 24mm 1.4. The Nikkor 35mm f1.4. $1,700 of pure horrible. Awful, overprocessed lens. Like I said, it's like taking a filet mignon. You know, you could have a nice 35mm, like a Zeiss. Zeiss is. Um, Zeiss and Leica and a few other people are masters. And Nikon. Nikon, one of the best 35mm ever made is the 35mm, and they still make it. 35mm F2 D-Series Nikkor. That lens is 180 bucks all day long as new used on eBay. 180 bucks. Is it an F2? Yeah. You don't like the bulk out of an F2 35mm? You know, you're smoking crack. I don't know what it is you're shooting in your veins, heroin or crack, but... You know, enough of the bulk of slutdom, you know? Oh, it's an F1.4. Oh, goody. What about the image quality? Okay, now you got like a, a depth of field that's like this. You know, I'm so damn happy for you. So, so, so happy for you. What about the actual image rendition? Well, it's not so good. You know, it's kind of flat and washed out and like, you know, but it's really, really, you know, it's got some nice creamy bokeh. 
It's an F1.5. Now, good. Good. Okay, $1,700 of horrible. I tell you what, for $1,500 less, for 200 damn dollars, get the 35mm F2 and stop being a, a bokeh slut. You know, if the bo you know, if the image was just as good, then, you know, it might not be so bad. I mean, it's like, well, okay, you're going to pay for that, but the image is really good. No, the image is worse because it's overprocessed. Glass is evil, you know? Light, you know what light, light likes? Light likes nothing. And when you put a piece of glass in front of it, it's like shooting a gun and you put a piece of wood there. Okay, you're shooting the same gun, you put another piece of wood and another piece of wood and another piece of wood. You know, it's like you'd have someone stand behind ten pieces of wood and you shoot the gun and then the bullet pops out of the tenth piece of wood. It's like plop, you know. Or might, you know, ricochet off of their t-shirt. You know, light is the same way. Light is an electrical circuit. Glass is a capacitor. If you don't believe me, you just watch an MIT video. It's called the dissectable capacitor. You know, people out there are really dumb when it comes to superior lens versus... They think, well, it's sharp corner to corner. I get so sick of hearing that crap. Nobody knows what the hell a good image is. They think, oh, I'm just going to fix it. You know, if it's not a color enough color saturation, I'm going to pop it in Lightroom, and I'm going to take my slider over there. Well, wham! I'm going to give it a lot of color saturation. Isn't that special? Shazam! You know, my lens is not too saturated, but when I pop it in Lightroom, I can take that Lightroom slider and go wham right over there. No, <laughs> Jesus. You can't add micro contrast in Lightroom, by the way. You can do a lot of stuff in Lightroom, but you cannot add micro contrast. You kind of have the old saying you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, and you can't make a diamond out of a pile of poo. You know? Photography has a lot of similarities to those analogies. Here's a lens that really sucks. And uh, some pro photographers got rid of theirs that contacted me. That's the 58mm f1.4 Nocto Nikkor for $1,600. Now, here's the alternative for that. Now, the alternative is manual focus. It's not autofocus. And tons of people... Voigtlander should be like sending me free hookers and a pile of cash. I have sold so many of those lenses. It's like Voigtlander should be on the phone to me from China. It's like, hey, is this Mr. Wheeler? Oh, we want to thank you so much. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> there have been so many people buy that Voigtlander 58mm f1.4 off my recommendation, and they take pictures with it, and they go, oh, my God, I've never seen a lens like this in my life. That lens is stupidly underpriced. That lens is $400. That lens is far, far, far superior to the Nikkor 58mm 1.4, which is $1. Thousand two hundred dollars more expensive, and then the image sucks from it. I mean, it sucks, it blows, it bites, it burns, it sucks. The 58 millimeter f1.4 Nocturne Nikkor sucks. The Voigtlander is made much better. It is all, I mean, it is, a, it is both a Sherman tank and a Rolls Royce and a Rolex. The images that come from it are as exquisite as the build quality, and for 400 bucks. I think no new price is four ninety. Used they're like four hundred dollars all day long used. Except because of my talking about it, there are no used ones anymore really because everybody's buying them up. Um that lens is gross. So the fifty eight million one point four Nick Horse sucks. And I just got done making a video about it. Here is the uh, sixth and final lens. Let's see, two hundred millimeter F two for $5,600. I just made a video about that. If you want all the details on that lens, watch the prior video. That lens sucks dead bunny rabbits. It's no good for sports action wildlife. It is no good, period. You know? People are like, I'm using this lens for sports action wildlife. I said, yeah, really? At F2, the depth of field is like that. I said, yeah, let me see your sh shots from that. It's like, here's my shots. It's got bad color saturation, has bad rendition, has bad micro contrast. It makes these flat, pancake flat images. And I'm like, oh, you shot this at F4, this one at F8. It's like, yeah, yeah, I did. It's like, well, what the hell did you spend $5,600 on a 200mm F2 for if you're only going to be shooting it at F5.6 and above? Because it is worthless for anything that moves faster than a constipated turtle. You know, I was, like, I was too fast because the depth of field at F2 is like this. You can even find wildlife photographers you know, that had more money than brains, and you can find the review on that lens. They're like, I'm going to buy this for wildlife. You know, at F2, it's got to have some awesome bokeh. And they find out that wildlife tends to do this interesting thing called move. They like to move around and, like, twitch their head and, you know, do crazy crap like animals do. 
and they find out, oh, I can't use this damn lens of death too, because every time I take a picture, you, you have to get one sharp picture, you gotta like piss away 30 shots. You gotta stick a continuous eye and go, ram! And it's like one shot out of that whole series will be, you know, where the eye will be in focus. That lens is nothing other than a hubristic uh, creation by Nikon to say, we are Nikon and we just created the fastest 200 millimeter lens in the world! The world! That lens was an answer to a question that nobody was asking. So those are the top seven uh, abysmal failures that are expensive from Nikon. 17 to 35, 2.8, 24 to 120, f4, although that one's not too expensive. The uh, just released, it's about to hit the market, 105, f1.4, total failure. <laughs> the 24 millimeter f1.4, total failure. <laughs> The 35mm f1.4 Nikkor, total bummer. The Nikkor 58mm f1.4 Nocturne for $1,600. Absolute disgusting, horrible failure. The Voigtlander blows it out of the water. The Voigtlander, you know... If you want to compare the Voigtlander to the 58mm, I mean... We're talking about, uh, I don't know... Giselle Bunchen is a Voigtlander, and the 58mm is uh, another chick with the last name of O'Donnell. <laughs> That's how far apart they are. <laughs> yeah, woof, and <laughs> totally different lenses. But but the far superior lens is $1,200 cheaper, and a lot of people bought that lens off my recommendation, and they are happier than a woodpecker in a lumber yard. They are happier than a worm in a pile of poo. I don't care what you think of me, but but I know my lenses, okay? And it's like, well, you know, this is it. It's like, what do you know? How many lenses have you tested? You know, you give it, well, that's just your opinion. Okay, well, you go buy that expensive turd, you know, and you know, you stick your head in the sand and tell you, you know, rationalized yourself that you spent your money wisely when, of course, in fact, you didn't, you know? I don't make a penny regardless of what you buy. You know, if you... Voilander hasn't even sent me a t-shirt. I've probably sold, uh, like, God knows how many hundreds of Voigtlander lenses in the past year. year so. I haven't even gotten a phone call that's like, Hello, uh, this is Voigtlander, calling from Japan. We want to thank you, call you and say thank you. Hey, we uh, love you. No, <laughs> they haven't even sent me a Christmas card. Uh, then... I really wonder what they're thinking of Voigtlanders. It's like, oh, my God, orders for this lens have uh, have gone up a uh, twentyfold overnight. Uh, <laughs> they're probably like burning the midnight oil in Japan, building that lenses, those lenses at the casino Voigtlander factory. It's like, ah, oh, yes, uh, a fat, ugly, tattooed American is uh, talking about our lens and. Uh... <laughs> come, come on, that's funny. That's funny. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs>